Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Deltana. This is their part number HPA69. This is a hinge pin doorstop, is what it is. And this one is shown in the CR003 finish. That's their lifetime finish. So having it removed from the packaging, here's what it looks like. This is a very typical and common design that is several decades old, uh, certainly I'm not sure who made this famous, but Ives would be the company that comes to mind. But other people make them as well, such as Deltana. Um, certainly a nice quality looking item. Lifetime Brass is what this is. And it is, it's non-ferrous, so the fact that they're saying that it's Lifetime Brass using that particular code 003 tells us that it's made of solid brass, but at the molecular level, there is a process done by which the brass finish itself is basically a guaranteed finish. Now, the downside is that it doesn't look like a true polished brass, but as I move this and how the light reflects off of it differently as I move it, it's, it's certainly not bad, but it does have a more Um, a more a, a look less warm is how I would describe that. Um, however, the upside, however, is if you do a kick plate, you want to order it in lifetime brass if it's on the outside of the house um, because that's a guaranteed finish and that's the bottom line. This is a hinge pin stop. You could certainly have something of lifetime brass and a hinge pin stop, even though it's probably going to be installed on the interior of a home. Um, you know, um, or maybe it's not, you know, it's uh, generally an exterior application is where you would, would see a lifetime brass. Um, wouldn't think it'd be too necessary to order that in an uh, interior application. I would opt for the solid brass myself. So this is adjustable via that screw that's there. And its minimum looks like it's, you know, maybe 100 degree, something in that range when it's at its minimum you know, if 90, okay? When we open that up, I think it gets out to about 125 degree or so, according to the manufacturer. Loosening that screw, obviously just pivoting it. Okay, so that's what your 100 degree is gonna look like, and then your 125 degree. More room, basically, for the door to open when it's in this minimized position that we see it here in. Yeah, so the bottom line is it will certainly do a decent job at keeping the door from making unintentional contact with something behind it, like maybe another door or a counter or something else. Now these are definitely used in very low frequency uh, applications where there's really no chance of there being any sort of uh, vandalized uh, behavior, vandalistic behavior on the door, because what'll happen is as you push the door open, so the hinge pin, if it's not already clear, goes through this the center section of the hinge pin stop, and it will just sit there. And generally you see it installed at the top hinge. You know, can it be anywhere? It can, um, but I'm really gonna think that um, at the top is gonna be most appropriate. It'll, it will be most out of the way. Um, and in terms of how much weight it's going to be encountering, uh, I would think at the top it would be a little bit less uh, of, of the sort of force that will be acting on it. But as the door, as the door hits, as the door opens and hits the one pad, it pushes all of it until the other pad stops at the casing. And then the door will stop, okay? Uh, hopefully, meaning in general, that's certainly how it works. If you were to take that door and keep pushing it, something's going to break. I have seen photographs from clients who literally ruptured the face of their door because someone fell into it um, and it had a hinge pin stop. I've seen people where they've pushed the door too hard and it lit literally took the casing and pried it off and away. So 
just kind of when the door opens and if it continues to move a little bit, a hinge pin stop would work in that case, but really not for applications where someone's going to be pushing the door past the point of stop. These rubber bumpers are obviously gray, as you can see. They're replaceable, and they generally ship not installed, and you'll just pressure fit them in. It's not really much trouble at all to do that. We do sell replacement rubber tips, and I'm going to show you those in a moment. It's, they're not by Deltana because they don't offer them, but other people do because it's a generic design. A very common question that we get is, what is the diameter of hinge pin that will fit down through here? And the answer to that question is... 0.237 is the inside diameter of the bushing, 0.237. If I pulled that bushing out and then measure just the plate, if you were to remove the bushing, you'd be able to stick a pin through here that would be compatible with this prep, this inside diameter of 0 0.318, 0 0.318. Um, people have done that. I'm aware that people have done that. And I'm aware that people have even taken the bushing out and then drilled the hole larger uh, for a thicker hinge pin that you would see on a heavyweight hinge. Obviously, none of that is recommended, but I make it uh, the information available because people ask uh, is the bottom line. Okay. Now, let's switch to the screen view where we can check the drawing, we can check the tips, we can check the other finishes. So this is the item that we are looking at, and this is shown probably in the antique brass finish here. That's just a generic image. By the time you're seeing this video, it will certainly be a um, lifetime brass that we're looking at. The other finishes that are available are lifetime, uh, pardon me, polished brass. That'll be solid brass polished with a lacquer, lifetime brass, antique brass, oil rub bronze, antique, uh, pardon me, satin nickel, antique nickel, black, polished chrome and satin chrome. Uh, let's take a look at replacement. Um, let's take a look at the 09-310, I think it is. So this is the replacement rubber tip from Ives that will certainly fit into this unit. Um, I don't recall the part number of the replacement tips that are in different colors. Let's see if I can come up with those. There is a company by the name of You Need Hardware, and I'm going to search for need and then tip. Uh, you Need Hardware is who sells these replacement tips I'm thinking of, and they have them available in black, which is the HP 800-RUB-BLK. And in white as well. They used to have gray, but they've clearly discontinued that. So if you wanted the tips in black, you'd order them separately here. Or white, either from here or from that Ives link previously mentioned. Now, the cut sheet link is here. So you can see where I got the dimensions a bit reversed previously. When you eyeball that angle, that, that's what it comes to, you know, they're about showing you the dimensional properties of the item. We'll throw the tape measure on this uh, in a moment. That's what it looks like. There is a link here to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Deltana products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the current uh, product catalog is there as well. Let's wrap up this video on camera. In conclusion, uh, this is a, a decent quality item. Deltana is a is a relatively no-nonsense outfit. They are in southern Florida. They are, I believe, even south of Miami. Um, not too much left in Florida south of Miami. Um, you call the person who answers the phone. What's the cost and lead time? How many do you have in stock? No problem. They are generally very well stocked on material. They're importing from overseas. So they're not just buying 12 of these at a time. They're buying, you know, a bushel, a bushel load. So they generally have either 1,000 in stock or their lead time is 16 weeks because they're caught flat-footed, which rarely happens with them. So the point I'm attempting to make is their inventory is generally quite adequate when you need something. Purchases of such items in extreme quantities are fairly rare. 
good quality people. I would have no uh, reservation about you uh, reviewing their products. They have a nice offering of scissors hinges or knife pivots or knife hinges. The PH35, the PH40, very nice quality material. Um, thought I had some here. I think they have already shipped. Um, or any other Deltana product. Take a look at their, their product catalog. Nice quality solid brass material. Any questions on the HPA 69 hinge pin stop in a lifetime brass finish or any other Deltana product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.